All right, so this is how to get your gas technician three license all the ways explained. So what is G3? A G3 is a license that allows a person in Ontario to work on something up to 400,000 BTUs while supervised by G2 or G1. Now, how do you get it? So there's a couple of ways on how you can get it. So you can either go the main route, which is you do your theory and your practical in school, which takes about 12 weeks, and then you write a test. You need to get a minimum of 75% on that test. That test is around 160 questions. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy. I thought um, I have my G2. Um, I wrote both tests, passed both, first try. Um, and another way to get your G3 is to either, if you have experience as a contractor already in the field, right? Let's say if your dad owns his own company and you work there since you were a kid or something like that, Basically, you can get an employer to write off your hours saying that, yes, this person is competent and doesn't need to do the practical or theoretical. They need to submit, submit this letter or this form to the TSSA, right? So once the TSSA looks at that form, they'll see if that person is eligible and then uh, they'll let them write the test. And again, they have to get at least 75% or above on that test as well. Now, if you wanted to go the traditional route and you wanted to get the diploma or the certificate, you want to get your license, um, which institution should you go to? Should you go to Highmark? Should you go to college or what other specialized training areas that might be in Ontario? Um, so for when it comes to your G3, it doesn't really matter because they're Highmark, these accelerated courses and colleges, they're all 12 weeks to get your G3, right? But you got to look at who's providing the education, who's going to actually teach you something. This is so important because you need good teachers to teach you these concepts. And um, so basically go with your gut, what feels better to you. Um, I went to college. I went to Georgian College to get my uh, G3 and G2. I loved it. Teachers were great. Uh, if you're in the area, I'd suggest that too. And then, um, yeah. So those are all the ways that you can get your G3. Either you can A, get someone to write a letter for you if you have the experience, or B, go to an institution, whether that be a college or a high mark. You have to write a test and you have to pass your theoretical and your practical with a 75% average. I forgot to mention that. You need on your practical and your theoretical to have a 75 average in class in order to even write the test. Now, some people might be thinking, ugh, that might be hard. It's a 75 average. It's not 75 per class, 75 average. You can get a 65 in one and then a 92 in another, averages out, right? But the classes, if you like HVAC, if you like gas, if you like all that, you should be able to do it. It's not that hard. But anyways, that's been it. All right, that's it. Thank you for sticking around and watching the video. As always, please subscribe, thumbs up, and follow social media. Take it easy. Peace.